Yahuda Jude 1. Yahuda, the servant of Yahusha HaMashiach, and brother of Yaakov, to them that are sanctified by Yuah, rather, Yah, Yahuah, the Father, and preserved in Yahusha HaMashiach, and called. Mercy unto you, and peace, and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you, and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the belief which was once delivered unto the Kodashim. For there are certain men crept in unawares who were before of old ordained to this condemnation. Wicked men, turning the grace of our Yah into lasciviousness and denying the only Adonai Yahua and our Adonai Yahuha, rather, Yahusha HaMashiach. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that Yahua, having saved the people out of the land of Mitzrayim, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which did not guard at their first estate, but left at their own habitation, he has reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day even as Chedam and Amorah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Mikael, the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moshe, and rather dared not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, Yahuwah rebuke you. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally, as brute beasts, in those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain and ran greedily after the error of Balaam for reward and perished in the gainsaying of Korach. These are spots in your feasts of love when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds. Trees whose fruit withers without fruit, twice to dead, rather twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea foaming out their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever, and Chanak also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, Yahua comes with ten thousand of his Kodashim to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are wicked among them of all their wicked deeds which they have wickedly committed, and of all their hard speeches which wicked sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaks great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time who should walk after their own wickedly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, having not the Ruach, but ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy belief, Praying in the Ruach HaKadosh. Keep at yourselves in the love of Yahua, looking for the mercy of our Adonai Yahusha HaMashiach unto eternal life. And of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. 
now unto him that is able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise Yah, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever, rather, both now and ever. Amen.